Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make a very simple and elegant breadcrumb, which will show you, or the user, the progress or workflow that they're currently on, and also allow them to click on and navigate through different forms or workflows that you've made. So this, you can see, starts at approval initiated, then finance or marketing approves it, and then the final stage is completed. And the user can right now see the finance stage and all uh, relevant items below. And they can also move across, maybe behind stages, and see what happened before. And also, what might be happening. Before we create the visuals, let's start by creating a variable that will give us an idea of how that visual will finally look like. So let's add a button. And on the onSelect property, we will make a variable with set var breadcrumb. And inside, We'll use a table as the value and the table is sort of like a collection so we'll need to pass it records using the curly braces so curly braces and the title will be let's say stage what stage we're on let's say first stage and then the title of the stage which will be approval initiated okay it's pretty hard to spell and then finally the image we're going to put in. So let's say icon will be and in my icon gallery. I can see a few. Let's say the idea light bulb. Okay. That's our first stage. I'll copy that four times, let's say. Our other stages will mark as two, three, four, and they will be moved as getting the approval. Then finance will approve, then marketing will approve, and then we'll mark it completed. So it'll be in the completed stage after that. And with finance, we'll put the puzzle icon, fun. With marketing, we'll put the handshake icon. And with completed, we'll put the soccer ball icon. So there is our breadcrumbs. And if you put a semicolon, you can actually run more functions. So we'll run another function to say set the current stage. So which stage we're currently on. So we'll make a variable for that. Var current stage. And we'll make it two. Okay. Now when I click this button, these variables will be made. Now let's move on to the visual. So we'll create a gallery, a blank horizontal gallery. Make it fit the screen, shrink it up a bit. Inside, we will add an icon, which will be a circle. Also, we'll need to connect the circles, which will be a triangle. Just align it to the middle and make it the width. Oops. Same with the circle, make it a little bigger. Okay. Make it the same height and width. Get it in the middle. Line center. Okay. And then the icon inside the circle. So we'll create an image. And to make this image circular, we'll go to the border radius property and set it to a really high number. Let's align it to the middle and align it to the center. Now it's in the center. Let's move on. So now you can see there's a lot more of these circles than we need. It's not actually reflecting the stage and such. So let's go and put in our data source as var breadcrumbs. And you can see somewhat of it has already been filled out. So we got the icon, which is good. The idea and all that. But no label, so let's add a label too. I think I missed that. So we're going to click inside the first one, insert a label, align middle, make it bold, maybe increase the font size. There we go. That's our stage. And now we need to sort of connect these lines 
and also you can see it's not the perfect there we go now there's no scroll bar so let's make this this doesn't need to show up because it's the last stage and let's add a, an, another rectangle here because this needs to connect so rectangle again good make sure the rectangles are the same height go all the way to the left send this to the back cool and let's make the rectangles the fill of this one circle so copy the circle click on both rectangles with control and go to the fill property and say circle to dot fill now they use the circles fill now let's get rid of the rectangle in the first one and the last one so we'll say this first rectangle is only visible if this item dot stage which is a number and we know this is the first stage is greater than one then it's going to be visible else it's going to be not visible same with the last rectangle so you remember you even though it's in the last thing you can't click here you actually have to click on the first one this one is only visible if this item dot stage is less than uh, four but true else false you can also if you don't know how many stages you have use the last stage of this breadcrumb for this logic because let's say you don't know if there's four stages maybe you want to add more in the future it, instead of getting oh I know there's four right now and maybe I'll add one then I'll have to change it to five you could say give me the last of my bar breadcrumbs and give me its uh, stage which is four right now if I were to add another stage with five it would be five now you can see there's a little padding here which we don't need so let's get rid of that padding you go to template padding here by clicking the gallery set it to zero let's make sure the rectangles are both the same height and instead of just manually guessing it let's just copy this rectangle two and make rectangle three the height of rectangle two and also the y coordinates okay now it's referring that rectangle referencing that rectangle so now we got our breadcrumbs but we want to know which section or which stage is the current stage which is 2 so I will go click on circle 2 go to the fill property and I will say if this item dot stage is equal to our current stage then I want this to be orange and else just give me blue so see this is orange now what happens if I make my stage 4 you can see completed is orange but most of the times you want completed to be green because that's the final stage it sort of means the process is completed so instead I'm gonna say I'm gonna add another line here and instead of saying if, I can actually just say this item dot stage, you can see because it turns into a test, is equal to four, then do green, else the orange. So now we can see, I actually have to put that up there because it tests this if statement before this one. So since it's four, it'll, it'll say orange instead of this. So We'll move this up so now I have two tests if this item is 4 then it'll be green but and then if it's not 4 then it'll do this one if the stage is the current stage then it'll be orange otherwise it'll be blue and instead of blue let's make it gray there light gray Now, if I make the stage three per se, there's three. Oh, and you notice this is still green for some reason. So now we go to the fill property again and say if this item stage equals four and it is the current stage, 
then make it green. Okay? So now we've made a breadcrumb. And to play around with the uh, stages and which stage is active, let's copy the var current stage logic and put it on the on select. So when you click on the gallery on the on select, let's say set var current stage as this item dot stage. And this is if you want to move through stages or have the user move through stages and show different screens at the bottom and forms. They can click on any of these and it will appear. Cool. So we've made our classic pro workflow breadcrumb very simply. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you learned more about how simple it is to make these breadcrumbs, make these visuals and power apps, how easy it is, and a little bit more about how powerful the visual aspect of power apps can be because of the pixel perfection you have. Thanks for watching.